right, I'm gonna go over our uh, our two like CNC port options. Um, we've we've uh, made uh, two of them because they can drastically change a lot of things that people don't really generally think about. But um, so the first head we released was our V3 port. So um, obviously heavily ported exhaust, um, ported intake. This is using a Ferrer valve spring kit. Um, BC valves, and we do the combustion chambers. So when we machine the combustion chambers, we are definitely removing material when we do that. So the volume increases when we, uh, when we pour combustion chambers. So the stock chamber um, is where most of the piston calculations for combustion are for uh, what the fuck? compression ratio. Compression ratio. <laughs> okay. Yeah, compression ratio. So uh, when you start to change like head gasket thicknesses, chamber volumes, things like that, it's going to move around. So this head will drop compression ratio by about 0.2 points of compression. So if you had nine and a half stock, it's gonna be 9.3, putting this head on with a factory head gasket, which is like 27 thousandths thick. If you go to a Kometic gasket, that's going to drop it another 0.3 points. So now you're gonna be a little bit below nine to one at that point. So we have a bunch of compression ratio options. Um, we have a nine to one, which are mostly for guys who want to run 91 octane or pump gas only and want to be, be like safe and make good power and all that stuff. We have a 10 to one option and we also have a 12 or a 12 and a half to one option. So um, the, those compression ratios though are calculated off a stock chamber. So the number can move around a little bit if we start doing stuff like for example, our V4 head, which we modify the combustion chamber even more to make it more of a, uh, I guess it'd be like a high power combustion chamber where we get rid of the side quenches and maintain just the intake and exhaust quench. It's um, a lot of other things have been softened, um, like around, we moved the, uh, the actual combustion pads back on both intake and exhaust, made them a little bit smaller. It really helps with um, de-shrouding the valves to make sure that we can get some like nice clean flow. Um, the valve, the port work is a little bit different on this. We do tailor it more to drag racing, I guess, where we take away a little bit of the support around the, uh, I guess like the guide where the valve actually enters the port. This one is more for, I'd say longevity. We, we try to keep a lot of material in certain areas to keep the valve stable. Um, but this cylinder head by itself will drop compression by about 0.4 points, roughly a half point. So, you know, generally when someone calls and they're like, hey, we want the best head you got, well, this might be the best head we have, but it'd be the, it wouldn't be very beneficial putting it on a stock engine because all the gains you get from the cylinder head flowing more air are negated by the half point drop in compression. So this would be the best combined with say a 10 to one compression, which will put you probably closer back in that nine and a half to one situation. So this is often overlooked when people are buying stuff because it is a little bit more technical, but um, we do think about all of that stuff and try to um, tailor each package so that there's actually gains made. We don't want to just sell you something that might be badass and promise you a bunch of horsepower, but it doesn't do it because you lost a bunch of compression putting this head on, or you lose a little bit of compression with this one on, it makes a little bit more power, but if you did change the piston, it'd make a hell of a lot more power. So, um, generally these ones are the solid bucket conversions. The Duner packages, we, can, we do do them solid bucket, undoubtedly. Um, it's, it's very common for us to even use a stock valve spring, just depending on the situation. But uh, we've done stock springs, Ferreras, 
Um, we got a couple other kits that we're using on them, but this one is definitely, you know, more thought out to be a solid bucket conversion head. So we just wanted to go over that, explain a little bit better. There's a lot of advantages to this head if you do an engine. This one is more of a drop on ordeal. You will gain a little bit with it. Um, it would definitely go better with a piston change, but you know, it's, it's up to you. Other things to note, this combustion chamber is no bigger at any point than 74 and a half bore, which is about ish what the factory head gasket is. And this one as well, it's no bigger than 74 and a half bore. So and it's, it's machined. Sometimes when you get these heads, you'll notice that it doesn't machine in certain areas. The, these heads aren't that bad on the core shift side of things. We basically cut everything. So when we put in the CNC, we install on dowels. And then we know, especially when we do engines, because we install the engines on dowels when we machine them. So we machine the bores exactly where they're supposed to be. So the bore spacing is 81 millimeter. These, the center of each combustion chamber is exactly that distance over. Sometimes you might get a head that is porting heavily on one side and not really touching on the other side. It's mainly because the core, like when they cast it, has shifted when they drilled dowels. It's not like perfectly centered. It's not a big deal. You'll see it in some areas where the tool just doesn't touch the chamber. Um, but, you know, when we do the, the, the actual porting, we wanted these combustion chambers in the center of the cylinder so there's no weird overhang or anything like that. So th these are safe to use on higher bores, not saying that you can't put it on a 74 or 75 or even larger than that. It's just we tried to maintain, you know, not having any weird overlap with smaller bores. You know, we generally, you know, our program is built around a 20 over piston. So uh, 74 and a half bore. It allows the engine to be serviced again if you want to go to 75 bore. It also assists in like using a head gasket that has more potential for sealing. There's a lot of advantages as why we, we tend to run a smaller bore overall. But these heads were designed for it, so uh, you know, I guess pick your poison.